Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate. Today, the first time you are coming across us, uh, so you are hearing this voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and I'll be right back. You can't. You cannot give what you don't have. You can't build something or not. If you want to build Cocoa House, the foundation of Cocoa House is different from when you want to build just a single story building. The foundation of a single story building is, diff is quite different from when you want to build six story building. Engineers are not foolish. There are some type of iron they will recommend for you. Structural engineers are not that, that stupid. There are some kind of iron you are going to use, iron rod you are going to use for a six story building. It will be different from when you are using, you are building just one single story building because of the load that will be on that iron. So, Bala Ahmed Tinubu, permit me to use that language. I'm used to calling Bala Ahmed Tinubu. And he's not even the president of Nigeria until when um, the tribunal will give the final judgment. And he, although, although, whichever way, he has a right to appeal to Supreme Court, whether it will be or Tinubu or Atiku, but although they are the front runners, they have a right to appeal to Supreme Court. Supreme Court is the last hope for any presidential candidate who is aggrieved. But having said that, let's keep that aside. And I will tell you that you don't build something or nothing. You don't. You cannot give what you don't have. Here is Bola Metinobu. His own election that brought him to be president of Nigeria is faulty. And that's why Nigeria is being insulted all over the world. According to EU report, this is not even Nigerian report now, EU said, and I conf I'm confirming that that election ought not to have been declared, that Bola Ahmed Tinubu ought not to have been declared the president of Nigeria. So, having said that, you are not even legitimate. You are fighting for legitimacy issue, uh, leg legitimacy issue. And you are overreaching yourself. You are biting more than you can show, just because of your selfish. And I said it, and I will continue to say it. I will continue to say that we don't have politicians in Nigeria. If you think you have politicians in Nigeria or you have political all over Nigeria, so it does, it is not even about tribal politics. Whether Igbo, Yoruba, we don't have any politician in Nigeria. We don't. We don't have what we call statesmen in Nigeria. What we have are a greedy set of human beings who just find themselves in the corridor of powers in Nigeria. Greedy, selfish, self-centered bunch of human beings who, by accident, or by omission or by commission, find themselves in the corridors of power. Take Oji Kalu for the example. Let's take Oji Kalu. Oji Kalu will never support anything that will be to the good of the Igbos, except it favors him. Take Tinubu for example. Tinubu will never support anything that will favor the Yorubas, except that thing favor him personally. And we have, he has demonstrated it over and over again. When Donny Buari's regime, when they were killing the Yorubas, Tinubu, the same Tinubu, keep short. He did not say anything. Pretend that as if he's not even in Nigeria. Did not say anything. Did not say any evil. Did not say any evil. The same thing with Oji Kalu, the likes of Oji Kalu, when, when they were killing the Igbos. And even when Peter Obi came out and wanted to become president, Oji Kalu just wanted to be Senate president. It doesn't concern him whether that uh, is Senate presidency will uh, affect the Igbos, it doesn't concern him. Like, likewise, Atiku. This is Atiku. Buhari had just spent eight years and Atiku still want to continue as the president of Nigeria. So we don't have any politician in Nigeria. That's my own opinion. I'm entitled to you. You may have another opinion. And I'm not saying you are not entitled to your opinion. And I'm not saying you should not ventilate your opinion. But that's my opinion. We don't have politicians in Nigeria. What we have are dealers, businessmen, opportunists. And that's why they keep on running from pillar to post. Make sure they make sure that they are in government at all times. Nigerian government or Nigerian treasury is their ATM machine. They don't have any business. They are not even enterprising. How many businesses do they have? They don't. They can't even think as a reasonable man being. How many of them has a company that employ more than five thousand people? How many of them? That's why they write that they have embezzled money over and over and over and again. They live practically on state resources. I will call them parasite, professional parasite. So now, as of today, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu wrote a letter to the Senate. And in that letter, he said, Senate should give him permission to deploy Nigerian military 
to Nigeria Republic. Let me tell you, President if you don't know now, you don't have the mandate of Nigerians to go to war against the Nigerian Republic. And let's start with the law. Let's start from the legal aspect. And I won't go into the nitty gritty of the law because I have so many things to do today. I won't. So, but let's start with the United Nations Charter. The first point of call will be United Nations Charter. If you're a good student of international law and diplomacy, you will know that a country does not interfere in domestic affair of another country. Another country does not, in, in, in other words, in Benin Republic, as close as it is to Nigeria, if anything is happening in, in Benin Republic, Nigeria does not have any right to go and interfere in whatever is going on in Benin Republic. Likewise, Benin Republic does not have any right to come and interfere with whatever is going on in Nigeria. During the last election, United Nations and um, United States can say they don't want Bola Metinuba as the president. They have the power. They can say it. United Kingdom can say it. They have the power, they have the way of it. They say, look, we don't want you as the president of Nigeria because your election that brought you in. Is... But they did not do it because of diplomacy and United Nations Charter. So what concerns Bola Metinobu that he wants to go and invade Nigeria Republic? Don't forget that Nigeria Republic is a Francophone country. That means countries that speak French as their official language. They, are, they have ties with France, not even with the UK. So what cons they are not and then they are not a member of Commonwealth countries. They are not a member of Commonwealth countries. So what concerns Bola Ahmed Nubu that he wants to go and invade Nigeria Republic? Is it for his personal interest or on behalf of Nigerians? Of what importance is that war to Nigeria economy? You don't cry more than the bereaved. The people of Niger, they are tired of their government and they want a change. However, they change the government is none of Nigerian business. So why is Bola Metinubu so hasty? They want to go to war against France and against Nigeria Republic. Don't forget that Nigeria Republic just signed a pact with Russia. So that means Russia will bring in all their work equipment into Nigeria Republic, if you don't know. And don't forget that uh, Nigeria Republic has the highest number, highest concentration of uranium in the world. If people don't know now, let me tell you now for free, Nigeria Republic has the highest concentration of uranium in the world. Then there's another mineral resources. I forgot it, the name of that mineral resources that they have in Nigeria Republic and they are the leading producer of that mineral resources. In the whole world, that mineral resources, they use it for nuclear power. So whatever is going on in Nigeria Republic is the interest of the West. Not even in the strength of the Africans. So I don't know why Bola Ahmed Tinubu will now want to fight a, a proxy war. I call it proxy, proxy war. Okay? Whatever is going on in the Nigerian Republic does not concern Nigerians. Though they are our neighbors, they are even Francophone country. I agree that they are, we are also in the same echo world, but they are Francophone countries. They are not, they are not, they are not, they are not a member, they are not members of Commonwealth country. They don't belong to Commonwealth. The only place we can meet is ECOWAS or African Union or United Nations. But they are not even member of the Commonwealth countries. So, if the people of Niger are happy with the new government, what is Bala Metinobu's business? Saying no. You yourself, that wants to go and remove the log in another man's eyes, there's a speck in your eyes. Let me say it again. You want to go and remove, somebody has a log in his own eyes. But you that want to go and remove it, that's what we call speck. That will not allow you to see. You want to go and remove a log from another man's eyes. So, he has written a letter to the Senate. And I know the Nigerian Senate, they are a rubber stamp Senate. Once they give them money, they will approve anything. Whether it's reasonable or it's not reasonable. So, he has written a letter to the Senate. So that Senate will give him the power to deploy Nigerian military to the Nigerian Republic. This is the same Nigerian military that cannot defeat Boko Haram. Ordinary Boko Haram, they can't defeat it. Ordinary Boko Haram. The same Nigerian military that cannot even deploy and uh, defeat IPOB. Um, what was this? Uh, military wing of IPOB. ESN. I don't know what they call it. ESN. The military wing of IPOB. They can't defeat them in the East. They cannot defeat Boko Haram. 
they now want to go to Nigeria Republic, where France and where um, Putin just signed a defense pact, not only with Nigeria Republic, Putin signed a defense pact with 44 African countries. 44. 44 African countries. So, and that's why Tinubu wants to go and fight a war. Don't you know that if you fight in the Gay Republic, in the league, you are fighting Russia? So, when Nigeria Army that cannot defeat Boko Haram, they now want to go and fight, in quote, Russian Army. And you know that Russian, Putin is very deadly. If you don't know, Putin, Putin is very deadly. He has been using chemical weapon in Ukraine, Putin. Though there's no evidence, but there are traces that he has been using chemical weapon in, in Ukraine. Because the man is so, is, is so, is so sneaky. So, Nigeria now wants to go and fight <laughs> with uh, Nigeria Republic. Just because somebody accidentally becomes Nigerian president. He has presidential power. He doesn't know what to do with it. It's illegitimate. He's trying to cover his illegitimacy. Because whatever Tinubu is doing now, he wants to impress the West. Whatever he's doing. It's not in the interest of Nigeria. It's because of his own personal selfish interest. He wants to impress the West. That's whatever Tinubu is doing. Now, Tinubu... I'm saying it now, uh, they will say I'm foolish. Please give me a minute. Tinubu, I'm saying it loud and clear now. You might say I'm foolish. You might even say I'm a fake lawyer. You might say I don't know what I'm saying. You might say I'm looking for popularity. Don't go into that world. I won't say more than that. If you go into that world, that will be the end of your regime. Whether legitimate or illegitimate, that's the end of your regime. And if you're not careful, it with that war will consume you and greedy politicians in Nigeria. I'm telling you, I swear to God Almighty, if you go into that war in Nigeria Republic, against Nigeria Republic, that is the war that will consume you and all your greedy politicians in Nigeria. So mark my words, write today's day down. Write today's day down. Let me say it again, no, right today's day down. Put my name on it. I'm not a prophet, so right today's day down. Put my name on it. If you go into that war against Nigeria Republic, that number one, that will be the end of, end of your government. Number two, at the stage, Nigerians will turn against you physically. And your your greedy politicians, your set of foolish politicians, bunch of bastards who call themselves politicians in Nigeria, Nigeria will turn against all of you parasitic set of leaders permit me to use that language because they are bastard they behave like bastard you don't go and fight a war that doesn't have direct and direct nexus with you you don't go and fight a war that does not concern you you don't go and fight a war just because of your selfish interest tinubu has always been known to pursue his own selfish interest above any other interest he, he did it in lagos he has done it over and over again whatever he's doing in lagos is for his personal interest it's, it's, it, luckily or unluckily for him, he's now the president of Nigeria. He wants to go and fight another selfish interest war. So, I don't live in Nigeria. If you like, cost me. If you like, you can say I'm saying rubbish. People that live in Nigeria, you people that live in Nigeria, will be the first casualty of the war. When Russia will deploy their MIG fighter jets against Nigeria, when Russia will declare and will deploy their drones against Nigerians, I won't be in Nigeria. Trust me. So don't think uh, this one is saying rubbish. He doesn't know what he can say. He doesn't know what he's saying. Uh, this one is trying to look for popularity. Go and want Inubu. Yoruba Bas, go and want Inubu. He should not dare it. Oh, fellow John, he be cheer what in a car. Tinubu fellow John. You see, Tinubu think everybody is foolish. Just because Nigerians are foolish. And Golibu, he thinks every other people. Every other, all, Tinubu, as you see him, I've studied Tinubu. I have a old book on Tinubu. I'm not making mad. I've studied him for over one year. Tinubu thinks he's smarter than everybody. Don't carry your foolishness to the Nigerian Republic. You will know that you are not smart. If, I, if you go to the Nigerian Republic, I dare you, if you go to the Nigerian Republic, you now know that you are the most foolish human being on earth. You have been doing it for a long time, Tinubu, and you are getting away with it. 
this time around, I think God wants to visit you with vengeance. So go to Niger Republic. At a point, this is what will happen. At a point in time, Nigerians themselves, Nigerian masses, will revolt and attack you fiscally. And all, and all those your foolish politicians that call yourself politicians that you are parading about and say you are political leaders. All of you are thieves. I said it. I said it and I said it. I'm not hiding my face. So, Olali Kolaraju is my name. All of you are thieves. All of, all of you who call yourself Nigerian politicians, you are thieves. What kind of business are you doing? What have you contributed to the economy of Nigeria? That all of you are riding Rolls Royce, Range Rover. Your children are riding Rolls Royce. Your children are going to the best school in the world. Is it from the money you are making? as government officials so your greediness will push you into an unknown a, a journey of no return quote me you can't do it I'm, my name is Olari. you cannot do anything for me i'm not making mouth i'm, I'm you, nobody can do any as far as i'm saying the truth i've never taken a cover from anybody Nobody, policy has, nobody on this earth, no policy can say he has given me one single cent. So I'm talking, this, I'm saying it now. Nigerians better go and warn your Tinubu. Because it's even a disgrace to we Yorubas. But Yorubas go and warn him now. Before you go out, we will put all of you into problem. I pity pe the people that live in Nigeria. I won't say more than that. If you are living in Nigeria, this is the best time to get out of Nigeria because Tinubus want to go on a suicide mission. So if you like, don't go and address Tinubu. Be hailing him, be goading him to go to war against Nigeria Republic. When Russia comes in, when Russia comes in into Nigeria Republic, Nigeria will know that uh, Kaki no be led down. Is it, not, is it not the same Nigerian army that cannot defeat Boko Haram? You want to go and deploy them to Nigeria? I will show you some videos now, but let's 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 discuss for that. I'm going to show you some videos in about two minutes time or three minutes. Let, this is the implication. If you don't know the implication of what Tinubu is doing, let me tell you now as a lawyer, <laughs> before you say this one is saying rubbish. Number one, by virtue of United Nations Charter, you don't interfere in the domestic affairs of another country. By virtue of United Nations. And all the countries of the heart are a signatory to that um, charter. Number two, ECOWAS does not permit the use of force. Let me say it again. No? Now, if it would have been a different thing, if ECOWAS jointly, listen to me, it would have been a different thing if ECOWAS countries jointly set up a military force to go against the Nigerian Republic. During the Abasha, even Abasha, as, 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 as wicked as we think he is, in Syria alone, they set up what we call Ecomog Force. Ecomog. And the, the meaning of Ecomog is Eco, um, uh, 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 West African Intervention Force. That's the full meaning of Ecomog. So they set up Ecomog, and all the countries in West Africa contributed troops, military troops, into Ecomog. And they went to Sierra Leone and put a, a stop. Even in Sierra Leone, it's even a civil war. In Sierra Leone, it was a civil war. Now, so for Tinubu to now write a letter to the Senate and telling Senate to let him deploy military to Nigeria Republic is going on a suicide mission. Like, quote me now. That's the, when I warn you about Prozakito here. When I warn you about Tinubu not becoming president, people were abusing me. You will still you will you will come back and thank me later. So, if you're a Yoruba man, if you're or no, if you're of or by want him to move very well. Want him more? If you die, don't want him. I won't be there when the war will break out in Nigeria. I won't. On the source note, I won't be there, and I won't be a casualty. My children will not be a casualty. My wife will not be a casualty. It's you people that live. In Nigeria, there will be casualties of the war. In quote, casualties of the war. In quote again, casualties of the war. Tinubu, if you don't know, he and his children, they have dual nationality. If you don't know, so let me tell you again. 80% of Nigerian senators have dual nationality. 90% of Nigerian senators, their children don't live in Nigeria. 
their wives don't live in Nigeria. Tinubu's children have dual nationality. His grandchildren have dual nationality. Tinubu has three private jets that they park in Guinea-Bissau. So if Shov come to push, Tinubu will call his private jet to carry his family out of Nigeria. You'll be the one that will suffer it. All the Ojikalus of this world, they have dual nationalities. They have, some of them have private jets. If you don't know, Ojikalu has private jet. Atiku has a private jet. It's only Obi, Obi that I know that doesn't have a private jet. So if anything happens, they will, they will put their children, even the Mycardinogas of this world, the Dangote of this world, they have private jets. They have dual nationality. Okay? So... If anything happen, should anything happen, they will put their children inside. If, in fact, their children does not even live in Nigeria anyway. So, what? what, what? So, there's, they, and they have bank accounts in foreign countries. They don't have anything to lose. Let me tell you now. They don't even spend Naira again, if you want to know now. Nigerian senators, they don't spend Naira. They spend dollars. If you give them money now, they go and change it to dollars. Naira does not have value. So, because it's so easy to carry dollars than to carry Naira. So, if you think the senators are on behalf of the masses, you are making a mistake. So, if you ever knows or know of I will tell you of Ijebu Lansa, uh, Oba of Lagos, um, all these first class, about, they tell them to go and tell the number not to put Nigeria into problem. Okay? You might be saying I'm saying rubbish, or time will tell whether I'm saying rubbish. Better tell Tinobu he should not dare go into Nigeria. We did not send him home. <laughs> me, I'm not part of it. So I'm saying that me, I'm not part of it. Oh. So if Nigerians the masses did not send Tinobu, and let me talk on behalf of Nigerian masses. I'm not talking about, about the uh, senators and all those stupid politicians. Nigerian masses, I'm talking on behalf of Nigerian masses. We did not send you Tinobu to go into war against Nigeria Republic. We have so many problems in Nigeria, not uh, going into war against the Nigerian Republic that we solve the problem of Nigeria. We are still buying fuel for 600 and something Naira. The economy is not certain. Boko Haram is still rapaging Nigeria. Then you think the next thing for you to do is to deploy Nigerian military to go and invade the Nigerian Republic. Uh, let me show you one or two video clips so that, um, and then I'm going to bring in another lawyer so that we can discuss further on United Nations Charter, ECOWAS Charter, and United Nations Constitution, as I made it, what it says concerning Nigeria invading another country. I will bring So, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do it to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye-bye.